Greetings, and welcome to episode 38. In today's episode, we'll be discussing suffering, and how it plays a part in everybody's life, and how, to a certain extent, suffering is optional. So if you're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, suffering. What does that mean to you? Let me explain what that means to me. Suffering is that pain, that non-physical pain that we feel during certain situations. It could just be stress. You could just be suffering and experiencing it as stress instead of emotional pain. That is the, the, the brain's illusion that one is separate from the other, that the mind is separate from the emotions, which works out to our advantage. But if you noticed, people that are stressed out tend to be a little cranky. That's because they are being affected emotionally, but most of the suffering is happening in here. Being overwhelmed can cause this. Uh, having Generally having too much on your plate can cause that type of suffering. Emotional suffering. <clears throat> there's a myriad of things that can cause that. On every level. To the minimal amount of suffering to the maximum amount of suffering. And to an extent most of our suffering is by choice allowing situations to have an effect an emotional effect on us and people say well it can't be helped it can't be helped yes actually it, it most certainly can be helped not every situation some situations it's there's no way around being emotionally affected there is, but I'm not, I can't speak to that because I'm not far enough along to be able to stay balanced through every situation. Truth be told, I've been suffering a bit myself as of late, not just because of the teeth. There's some, there's a few things going on in my life, and I, I have to admit I am suffering, and I can't seem to see my way around it perhaps I think honestly if I get down to it and just and ask myself well why I, I think I'm just trying to validate this this situation and I think that suffering even in the tiniest bit keeps me from feeling guilty for not feeling anything at all which not suffering doesn't mean you don't feel anything it just means you're not suffering but it seems to me <clears throat> that my suffering it's it's kind of distracting I'm not I've not been myself lately uh, other people have brought that to my attention and I think I'm done suffering I want to be done suffering. It just doesn't seem like it's time yet. Uh, which just brings into mind another point about suffering. Most of our suffering we, we bring upon ourselves. We wait to the last minute, or we let somebody affect us emotionally, or we something I, I noticed that pain is something that happens in life emotional mental physical these things happen in life but suffering over it is something completely different it's almost like poor me poor me and I can say that because I'm suffering and that's when I when I break it down that's pretty much what it is poor me poor me but what I would like to do is find a way through it 
which means to put an end to my suffering, I need to sit down and focus on what is causing me to suffer. And I, at this point, am not willing to do that. But sitting here enjoying a pity party is not as much fun as it seems. <laughs> I would rather just get through this, but my suffering has multiple sides to it, and taking care of one aspect won't fix the rest and could possibly make the rest seem a bit worse. So I'm trying to hold off and have a more balanced approach and not just, oh, I want to feel better, so I'm just going to just blunder through and make things worse on accident. So. I don't want to do that. I uh, I wasn't the initial cause of my recent pain, but I am the cause of my suffering. I could choose to let it go or deal with it or whatever it is it would take to get through it, but I'm not for whatever reason. And my reasons for not dealing with it aren't aren't the the point. <laughs> the point is I'm suffering. <clears throat> and it's my fault. Overthinking a situation. That's part of the reason why I'm suffering now. Overthinking a situation can ultimately leads to suffering. Because we'll take a teeny tiny thing, or even a big thing, and we'll magnify it a thousand times so a little thing becomes a huge thing and a huge thing becomes monstrous and insurmountable by our own work on accident <laughs> usually but patience is one of the things I need because part of getting through what I'm going through is going to take some time and proper planning, proper emotional and mental and just preparing myself because it's I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm human and no matter how spiritual I am, I just I don't really want to deal with it. I just it's what, two days before Christmas and not only am I not in the Christmas spirit, I've really never liked Christmas and now at this point in my life like it even less so that that has a part to play in it but it's more along the lines of <clears throat> so I think it's more along the lines of I just don't want to deal with it right now because I have other things going on that I would rather deal with I would rather deal with helping my children to enjoy this because they're still at a point in their life where this is a fun and, and good time for them regardless of my reasons for not liking it they still like it and I like that they like it I like their reaction to it I like remembering the excitement through them so when it's good for them it's good for me otherwise I've got no use for it and has that has nothing to do with being spiritual or religious or, or or where the holiday really comes from or anything like that. This is just over the years I've learned to not like Christmas <laughs> for my own reasons, which are not the point. <laughs> but those reasons cause me to suffer during this time of year. But it, it it's being exacerbated by. A current situation we'll say something I also noticed w about suffering is when somebody suffers me somebody else we tend to trump it up like a badge like I'm suffering and sometimes we do so to the point that we forget that suffering is relative and somebody else that was going that could be going through what you're going through, it could be, eh, it's nothing. But for you, it's this huge hurdle, an obstacle, a big mountain in front of you. 
and then what they're going through to them might seem like a huge mountain, but to you it's, eh, it's nothing. Suffering, like everything else, like I said, is relative. And completely at the control of the person suffering. If you take the time to look into it and deal with the problem, you won't suffer anymore. I'm playing with my thumbs on the camera because there's a little delay and it looks funny when I move my thumb and then a second later it moves. <laughs> anyway, easily amused, yes. <laughs> but seriously, I, uh, I had to talk about suffering. I wasn't even going to talk about suffering. I had a completely different show planned for today, but I'm suffering and I can't seem to get out of this funk and I would like to think it's the medication or the the surgery or whatever but the surgery was four days ago three or four or five days I say Thursday is when it happens so Friday Saturday Sunday Monday today's Tuesday so six days ago this surgery happened and so I can't I can't just fall back on that and say well it's the surgery or it's the medication I'm not on meds well I, one of my medications is one of those that would make you loopy but I stopped taking it during the day I started taking just regular over-the-counter pain meds because it was making me loopy and I could feel that it was affecting my energy so I'm just taking regular over-the-counter pain medicine and the other medication I'm taking is just penicillin so unless it's not really penicillin then it's something else that's bothering me and I'm okay with that. I'm okay even knowing what it is. What I'm not okay with is suffering. I don't want to be suffering. But likewise, I don't want to look into it. It's like a catch-22. And most people will hit that barrier where, well, I'm suffering. But I don't want to, or it's inappropriate to, or whatever. There's some type of they're either personal accountability is being tossed out the window is such as in my case or there's some type of social politics at play wow plenty of interruptions today <coughs> as I was saying some type of social politics that's preventing someone from dealing with something because it would be deemed a inappropriate be rude or perhaps you it would make you feel guilty thereby enhancing your suffering by overthinking it <laughs> but it stands to reason that our suffering is is a product of our own mind the, the, the level of suffering because we create these situations and then after we're done creating these situations or being party to the situation. You may not have created it, but if you're allowing it to continue, you're still your co-creator in, in, in your suffering. And then not dealing with it for whatever reason, whether it's social politics, whether it's uh, a call to inaction, such as in my case, <laughs> throwing accountability out the window temporarily, because eventually we deal with what we deal with. But what seems to happen is we create these situations and then when we have to deal with it, it seems to be that much worse than, it's, than it initially seemed to be. Or what's a better way to put it? we blow it out of proportion <laughs> for whatever reason probably because it's happening to us and I notice some people do it more often than others some people don't do it at all they accept whatever suffering they have and they either deal with it or they just suffer or whatever but they don't blow it out of proportion but I noticed that a lot of the people in my life 
<clears throat> in my immediate life tend to blow their suffering out of proportion so they can justify drastic measures whatever those measures are some people will go so far as to drag their suffering out longer than it needs to be just for the, the the poor me sympathy for me factor and that it diminishes in my opinion it 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 will diminish in advance anything they'll go through next time because I can see that you're not suffering as much as you claim to be a I can see that your suffering lasted quite a bit longer than it would have had nobody paid you any attention and it just seems to me that suffering in those cases when you exaggerate it or, or drag it out as long as possible that's self-serving that's you're trying to elicit a, a particular response from people I usually don't let people know I'm suffering I didn't wasn't gonna let you know I was suffering now in particular during this show during this episode but <sighs> But I did. And then not for sympathy's sake, but to let you know that I am speaking from direct experience, like right now, speaking from now and every other time in the past that I've suffered. And some people have a down, have a tendency to downplay their suffering. I have friends that downplay their suffering. The, the person that pointed out to me that I've changed in my videos at, lately since, I have to say since last Monday, they called me out on being different in my videos and that would be why because I downplay my suffering well that person also downplays their suffering because some people don't want to be a burden to others other people don't care if they're a burden to others and will play their suffering up to its maximum over a sliver they'll pretend like their whole arm got cut off and then for days and days and days after it's oh that's still tender oh yeah and then there's those of us that will have our arm cut off and we're walking around tis but a scratch <laughs> and those are the two types of sufferers those are there's those that suffer in silence and those that that have to invite people <laughs> misery loves company oh you poor thing that's what they want to hear oh you poor thing and there's those of us that I don't want you to feel sorry for me I didn't even want to tell you you just kept prying and prying and prying so I told you <laughs> and I think I can't help but be completely and thoroughly irritated when people exaggerate their suffering or drag it out longer than it needs to be. We all know people of both types. We know the type that hide their pain and we know the type that exaggerate it. The type that exaggerate it really haven't been through as much as they claim to have been through in their life. And most of the, 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 the suffering they've been through in their life if you sat down and talked with them about each segment of their journey you'd find out that 90 percent of their suffering was self-inflicted something they set themselves up for whether on purpose or on accident to happen to them later like receiving advice not following the advice and then it coming to bite them back in the ass but it's instead of wow man i should have i should have done what i was told it's poor me look what's happening to me oh lordy lord <laughs> and all I can say is tis but a scratch <laughs> because you don't I don't want to be a burden to you and I don't want your sympathy I want you to just nod and say hmm yeah well you'll get through it little encouragement maybe 
but I don't want Oh, you poor baby. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes, sometimes that's cool, but it has to be really, really bad to want that type of reaction. And even then, I don't really want that type of reaction. I, I just want the pain to go away. And I just had to get it off my chest, no matter how many times I had to get it off my chest. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes you can downplay someone else's suffering simply because you haven't been there. So you don't know what it's like to have been there. And nothing can increase suffering more than someone downplaying your suffering because they haven't been there. Or they think you're exaggerating. Or they don't believe that you're suffering. So, when somebody expresses to me that they're suffering, regardless of how I feel, if I'm irritated because I feel like they're exaggerating, if I'm irritated because I feel like they're dragging it out, I still try to be there for that person. And I try to not show my emotional state in that situation because whether or not they really need you, they need you. There's something they need on a fundamental level that's making them trump this situation up if that's the case to get that what they need from before in those types of situations I like to try to get at the heart of the matter not the matter what's going on right now but why why the snowball effect uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you can only address the problem because they they will get offended if you deviate from this, the current topic as if to say, that's not what I've called you over here to talk about. Uh, and it's, it's their prerogative. If they don't want to talk about it, they don't want to talk about it. You can't force someone to talk about something they don't want to talk about. But if you ask me what the problem is, I'm going to tell you. And if you're the problem or part of the problem, you might not like the answer. And a lot of people will just beat around the bush. Oh, you know. And sometimes I, I, I succumb to social politics where it's not polite or it's not tactful or uh, there are repercussions from being that honest. And I'll sugarcoat it a little. But for the most part, I've learned that it's just best to get it out in the open and get it over and done with. So it's not that particular pop problem isn't popping its head up later. And then popping its head up later. Because you didn't deal with the actual problem. You just dealt with being upset at the moment. And I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is... You causing your suffering and finding a way to remove all accountability and personal responsibility from your suffering. It's your fault. You know, if I did it your way, then it's not my fault, but it's not your fault. Because if I blame you, then you're just going to find a way for it not to be your fault. So it's nobody's fault and everybody's just suffering for no reason. Which is bullshit. When you start suffering and you're looking for blame, you are both the plaintiff and the defendant at the same time. You were the cause of your suffering. And you can only blame yourself. Now, you may not have been the cause of the initial pain, but you are the cause of your suffering. If you allow something to continue, that's your fault. I can look myself in the eye and say that the situation I'm in today, completely and 100% my fault. There's no one I can blame. I can only call out a person for their actions, their immediate actions. But the fact that those actions happened, I can trace all the way back years of just literally just allowing situations like that to occur in the first place.
allowing that person or any person to affect me negatively and not call them out on it or accepting their plea of innocence when I called them out on it. Was it my fault? I didn't do anything. Okay, you didn't do anything. I don't accept that anymore. At all. Because if you have complaints and I have to not be perfect, then I have complaints and you're not perfect either. I have no problem owning up to a, a being the cause of somebody else's suffering. And in that case, I apologize. But I want to know for sure that I was the cause of your suffering. I don't want it to be, well, I was mistaken and I thought you did this and you didn't do that. Or you didn't do this and I thought you did that. And I just misunderstood the situation. Which is usually how it ends up. Which is cool. You, you get the apology back later. But... When the roles are reversed, you never get an apology because they never did anything wrong. They never did anything wrong. And if they did do something wrong, it's because of some arbitrary shit from a long time ago or an unrelated issue that had nothing to do with anything until you presented the fact that you were upset and suffering over something. <laughs> ah, suffering. It's a paradox, but there is an ancient text that says there is no paradox that is unsolvable. Factor that into your information. I can and will figure a way through this suffering, but I am at the whims of social politics right now and cannot immediately deal with what's going on. So I will deal with the fringe work and set myself up to deal with it at an appropriate time which will never come so it'll just languish and then blow up later whatever <laughs> that's how humans deal with suffering <clears throat> in my opinion my suffering isn't that great that it needs to be dealt with immediately there are ways I can diminish my own suffering and I'm taking steps to do that but I should still deal with it I'm not giving my explanation of what's going on in my life shouldn't be construed as permission for you to deal with it wrong if you know you're dealing with it wrong deal with it wrong right uh, I'm dealing with it wrong because and I can probably tell you that the reason you're de dealing with it wrong is because there are subtle intricacies that you're not telling us about when you tell us what's going on. Just like in my life, there are subtle intricacies that I'm not telling you about. And so, we're left with the social politics. And, yeah. Yeah. Suffering in, at, in, in this particular instance is not primarily my creation, but maintaining it, and not even really maintaining it, I'm just not doing it. It's like a house is burning down. I am not stoking the fire by any means, but I have yet to administer any type of help. I haven't tried even in the slightest bit to put the flames out. I am actually sitting here wondering why is my house on fire? Why why is my house on fire? When usually the investigation happens after you put the fire out. <laughs> <laughs> but in this case I'm just standing there wondering why is my house on fire? That's weird. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, suffering It's just in itself as a paradox. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. You don't have to suffer. You don't have to let a situation control you emotionally. You don't have to. And like I said, I'm nowhere near far enough along to get through every situation with the perfect balance. No. But I am far enough along that I can get through quite a few situations 
with decent enough balance that I'm not so affected that I could call it suffering. But like I said, suffering is relative. What is not painful to me could be excruciating to you. So I don't know. All I know is that when I suffer, I don't want to drag other people down with me. And I know quite a few people, like I said, the person that called me out for being different in my videos, they suffer the same way I do, in silence. They don't want to be a burden. And I can respect that to an extent, but eventually you're going to have to talk about it, just like me. And this is my little talk about it. And hopefully, eventually, I'll get through the situation and come out the other side. I mean, I'm trying to be tactful and, and, and have better timing and, and just be in that healing space. But it's hard to get to. There's like obstacles between me and that healing space. So I have to be very, very careful. So in my being careful, I am suffering. <laughs> Unnecessarily. I could deal with it right now and be done with it. Long story short, I'm not. <laughs> Anyway, there's been so many interruptions and I've had to restart the recording so many times. I do not know if I am, in fact, past the 30-minute mark or even to the 30-minute mark, but we're going to call it right now because I could go on and on and on for days and weeks and months about suffering. We all could. We've all suffered. Some of us are suffering right now. But uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If uh, if you want, you could favorite the video. You can leave, please leave a comment in the comments down below. Uh, video response. I mean, it's supposed to be a discussion. I want to hear your your views. If you disagree with anything, let's discuss it. I mean, there's a reason why I see things the way I see them. There's a reason why I experience them the way I experience them. And the same thing for you. If you notice, you can go through one situation and see it one way have a little bit of growth and 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 evolution and then go through the same situation again and see it completely differently so know that that's why I'm sharing because you could be just wanting or needing a different perspective on something on the same problems you've had this whole time your whole life who knows but if you would like to keep coming back and getting more information in that different perspective, or maybe you just like the sound of my voice, then you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But until next time, you hang in there.